This is called the show. If you didn't know, this is called the show. Ladies. You are listening to the show. My name is Elizabeth Mesa, and we are back. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Have you guys worked out? Have you guys done anything today? I'm trying to work out, but I have not been able to do any of this stuff because I'm always very open about myself and my things in my life that are going on. And of course, it's that time of the month. (laughs) It's that time of the month for me. So, you know, whenever that happens, if it's like my first day or my or day two, I tend to just kind of lay low, not do anything. So that's my excuse. And I haven't done anything, but you guys don't have an excuse so you better have worked out. Um, send, tell me what you've done and kind of uh, motivate me to go hard when I go back tomorrow because that'll be day three. And by day three, I'm good. I'm, I, I can go back to what I normally do. <laughs> I'm excited today because I have, she is, she's been on the show before. She's a previous guest. She's a TV host, sports broadcaster, MMA commentator, for Combate Americas, uh, Fox Deportes, and she's also really, really hot. You guys have to go check her picture out, Andrea Calle. Hi, welcome to the Hi, show. Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm excited good. to be back. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. You look so good. I thank you. I, I try. I almost didn't recognize you. When I saw you, I was like, wait, I was like, that is her. Like, <laughs> you look good. Not that you didn't look good before you right. did, but now it's like you look you look different. Yeah, I think it's, you know, I moved here. So that was one of the things that changed since the last time you saw me. You were living in Miami. I was living in Miami. Now I'm living here in L.A. and and I love it. (laughs) Best thing. So that I think, you know, when you're happy, it shows. And, um, you know, I've now I've gotten into my routine. I have my trainer, you know, at Tengu's Boxing. He's the best. Ricky Hank. And um, so I love him. And... um, you know, so now I have my routine. I have my team working. We have, you know, Combat is doing great. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I have my time for myself, you know, for my house. Like, I, I'm the, I love to do, like, my moisturizer for my face. I do it myself because I'm super sensitive. So, you know, I'm all type of do-it-yourself type of girl. So, you know, I've been working on, you know, on me. You know, the last year has been... Um, just that, like working on, on building myself, of getting better, like you said, you know, like, you know, try to just focus on being better as a person, being better, uh, around, you know, just that energy yes. and being able to give to others and help. And, you know, it's everything's starting to fall in place. And I just feel blessed. So I think that's what you're seeing. The, the you know, all the blessings are the showing. Showering you. <laughs> yes. So wait, so you said you do your own moisturizer? Like you yes. make it from scratch? I make it from scratch. So if you go to my house, I literally have like a whole cabinet. It looks like an organic oil, essential oil type of thing. So I have, mm-hmm. you know, I do all the moisturizers for my face, for my hair, um, even some of my skin scrub, you know, yeah. when you get in the shower. I built everything because nowadays you don't even know what, you know, whatever you put on your face has. And I really break out, you know, with the makeup now mm-hmm. working. I work with, like you said, Fox and Azteca and Combate. and all, So I'm getting hard makeup on my face very often. Yeah, I used to break out like, you don't like nobody's business. Wow. Like, so it was the primers out of the door. I don't let them do no primer on my mm-hmm. face. They can't use no moisturizer. And then at night, I use, my, I use my the moisturizer I make. So I have my aloe vera plant that I, you know, scrape it out to be able to do my moisturizer. And then I use, like, so since I have sensitive oily skin, so I use, like, all sorts of different essential oils, organic oils. And it's, like, amazing, you know. Like, I have pumpkin seed I use, and I use the aloe vera plant and coconut oil. And, uh, you know, sorts of, you know, I have a whole list of stuffs and I blend it and I do it. And actually, you know, it's worked great. And 
my sister is on it, my mom is on it, my friends are on it. <laughs> so so we, maybe soon I'll have my line. <laughs> you should. You should do your line. So is it, what is it, like aloe vera? And then you- yeah, it's it's a bunch of, like, I actually have the plant, so I scrape, you know, the inside, and then yeah. I blend it with essential, organic essential oil. So I have, like, coconut oil, the, you know, virgin. Yeah. And then I use, like, pumpkin seed, essential oil, the organic. It's it, I put probably, like, 10 different essential oils for... Um, draw for oily skin, sensitive oily skin, acne prone skin. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you. I have to do the whole research. I had to do it and learn what essential oil are actually good for. You know, acne prone skin, oily skin, because it's you know you're putting oil in your face. Yes. And a lot of the time, the acne and it's because you're actually lacking moisture. So it's been amazing since I started doing it myself. Like I don't break out, and I like like. When I was in my days, Mm -hmm. I knew it was coming because I would break out. (laughs) But now it doesn't happen. So I'm like, I love it. You know, that's also part of the process since I moved here. Because now I don't have like a nine to five job. I'm actually doing like all my broadcasting and my TV work and this and training. So I have more time to do. And I'm doing a lot of blogging and all of that. So now I have time to actually go into this and, you know, for my hair so I do my own you know treatments for my hair everything organic and so it's like you know it's I love it you know it's just make me happy <laughs> you look good it does show you look really really good your thank face you. looks great your hair looks great <laughs> thank you now you're making me want to research it I'm like I'm gonna have yeah, to start you should. doing it yeah because it's like a lot of people don't know and it's really yeah. easy and it's good when you know what you're putting on your face so you just you know and on your skin in general and I think it's 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 everything you know it's yeah. it's the same thing with your food now like everything has chemicals that you don't even know right. my hair started falling off and um and they told me, oh, you know, it's the water, the change of water from Miami to yeah. here and blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, it can't be that bad that my hair and it was dry and everything. Like it can't be. So I started doing, you know, like I do pumpkin seed oil with peppermint essential oil on my scalp. Yeah. Because it started drying so much that I started getting dendroff. And then I do like the virgin coconut on my end, like from, you know, not on my roots, but you can do it on the roots if it's too dry. But I just use the pumpkin seed and the peppermint. Yeah. And it's great, and it helps it grow and everything. And you see it right away. Oh, my God, my, my hair is so soft. It's crazy. It looks healthy. It, like, it looks it, super healthy. And I have, like, a lot of stuff. Because I get my hair done at least three times a week with curling irons and flat irons and everything. Wow. And, you know, I have highlights, and I've done, like, all sorts of stuff to my hair. So, yeah, it's been a process. But it's like, you know, I think I've learned so much. It's just that time. I guess when you turn, you know, when you're in your 30s, yes. you start, start accepting yourself and loving yourself and everything. It's amazing. So that's where I am right now. <laughs> you look great. And it's definitely Thank shows. You. Yeah. Thank you. You guys have to check Andrea Calle out. And your Instagram is Andrea Calle TV. TV. And everything. All my social media. Like, you can go to my Facebook, every Andrea Calle TV, and you'll find me. And you can, you know, message me and everything. I love, you know, doing videos about the questions you guys have and most of my fans are guys because yeah. of sports, mm-hmm. so they don't really care about my hair or, <laughs> you know, my skin or whatever. They don't. But, uh, you know, they love the, the training because, yeah. you know, I, most of my training is with boxers and stuff. So they love that. But um, but I never get questions about Like, this is new for me, talking about my moisturizing and stuff <laughs> because the guys never ask me about it. <laughs> so do you tra- you train with actual boxers? Yes, I actually train. Right now, uh, my trainer is Ricky, and yeah. he's um, he's a big trainer here in L.A. He's one of the owners of 10 Goose Boxing. And, um, you know, there you'll see, like, a Nate Which Diaz. Is, what, what's his last name? Um... I don't even okay, know so how to it's say. Not, I, th- I thought it was like another guy. It's not, it's not Ricky Kilas, right? No, no. Okay, okay. No, no. And um, so he trains like a Nate Diaz, like when Floyd Mayweather is here, yeah. he'll go and train there. Um, so he has like, like right now at the gym, we have uh, like the prince from a Qatar. He yes. flies in from Qatar all the way just to train with, with Ricky. Wow. So it's like, yeah, like all the guys there are like, most of them are like pro boxers or just yeah. getting ready to be boxing, you know, like going pro. And um, and he's been doing it forever. I uh, Ten Goose Boxing has been around for a while. So right now, like he's like my personal trainer. So I do like he we do boxing, but it's mainly, you know, boxing with 
we incorporate, of course, lunges and squats and yeah. abs. And so it's amazing. I, I love my Ricky. He's the best. I love boxing. Yes. I love it so oh much. Oh, my God. You have to try him. He's the best. Yeah. I super recommend him. He knows, you know, it's not the hardcore boxing. Yeah. Um, he, he pushes you a lot. But then he incorporates a lot of stuff that we as girls, you know. He, don't even do. Exactly. Like, yeah. you know, you want to keep your, your, your hips and your, your butt. You know, you want it yeah. round and nice and so he does all of that. Like, oh, my God, the other day he had me do this crazy exercise. It's actually on Instagram, but you can only see, like, half a minute or something. But it's – he would put, like, five piles of DVDs, each pile with around 20 DVDs. And you would have to go one by one, first pick it up one by one, then go down one by one, and then go up again. And then move with wow. those 20 DVDs to the next pile. So by the next pile, you already have 40. So you're dropping out 20, then you're picking up 40, and then you're moving to the next one. Wow. So you have 60. And by the end, you're doing like 500 squats. You can't sit down next day on your toilet. You're like, literally, oh. you're you're scrolling <laughs> to your house to be able to move around. You don't understand. And he's wow. like, you're going to be in so much pain. I was dying. I wasn't in pain. I was dying. Like, I didn't want to move from my sofa. Yeah. I was like, <gasps> This is not normal. Yeah. That's a great workout. Oh, my God. And it's so exciting. And you don't feel it. Like, literally, we, we usually work out 45 minutes to an hour. Like, yeah. the first, you know, 20 minutes, it's jumping rope. So, he's like, five rounds, no stop of rope. So, there you are. And for me, it was really hard because I'm not great in cardio. Like, I, that's never been like, I don't run. Like, I have an elliptical at my house. Yeah. So, while I'm watching TV, you see me like, you know, I'll do some elliptical and whatever. But I've never been like, you know... And five rounds, it's like, you know, it's it's long, and then you're doing... He doesn't let you stop, so you're doing the one minute in between while all the guys are resting. You're still there jumping rope, and so... But it's amazing. Jump rope is really hard. It's it hard. so hard. Yes, yeah, but it's amazing because it you is. start seeing it, and your yeah. legs start contouring really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like it burns everything, you it know? Does, like, yeah. I, I actually feel like... You see the difference, so it's yeah. great. Yeah, I used to, like, I, I haven't trained with my trainer. Like, I used to work out with my trainer a lot. Right. And he's the same way. Like, he's really, really, really hard on you. Like, he does, like, we do boxing, kickboxing, and then he incorporates, like, other stuff to, like, right. get you in shape. I have not worked out with him in a minute because our schedules, and he's traveling right now. You know, first he went to France, now he's somewhere else, and then he had gone to Chicago. So right now he's away. So I have not trained with him. And he's in Culver City. So for me, traveling to Culver City, which is not bad. I normally do it like twice a week, but I haven't done it. And I'm dying because when he comes back in town, he's going to be like, Elizabeth, I'm back in town. And he's going to kill you. Oh, he's going to kill me because I have not done his routine in a while. Right. That, you know, it's just it's going to be really, really difficult. But I know what you mean about the workouts. Yeah. I mean, it's I think it's and, and it's great. Like. Besides, of course, being yeah. in shape and everything, I just feel that it, it, it like, boosts your energy, you know, like, you feel energized, you feel happy, yeah. you feel, you know, like, you feel like, yes, this is the right start to the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes, like, when you're not training, you feel like something is lacking, and I really feel, because, you know, sweating and stuff, it, you get rid of toxins and stuff, so it's important, yeah. you know. I feel like, you know, for the people that are not too into exercise, just... If, you know, just try to be active, even if it, you have to start by buying some sort of machine and having it at your house. And, you know, if you're into your TV, just, you know, do your do your treadmill or do your, you know, elliptical while you're watching TV, you know, but do something and you, they're going to start feeling like energized and happy and, yeah. you know, like, and of course, getting in shape. But health wise, it's so important and, you know, emotionally and I feel like everything helps. You know, just feeling comfortable with yourself. It does. Yeah, that's what I tell the listeners. You know, you have to start by doing, like, at least walking a little bit. That's going to kick off your, you know, energy, and you're going to feel so much better about yourself. Just doing, like, a little bit. Yeah, Yeah, no, for sure. It's like they say, like, slow and steady wins the race. Like, you don't have to go hard and try something really difficult just because... The person next to you or someone else is doing it. Like you can just start off by walking. Yeah, I mean, th- this is not a race. Yeah, you know, it's it's your it's your personal race. It's you mm-hmm. against you and trying to make yourself better. So you know, and just look for whatever works for you. Like I get like one of the things I blog about. It's like new gadgets. So I get like all sorts of equipment and. Yeah. There's one, it's called Active 5, which is a little thing like this, and it vibrates. So it's really your resistance, and it teaches you. It's, it has a great app on your phone, and it gives you – it's 
a five minute workout a day so you can do it while you're in the airplane yeah. or while you're at the office and he has for like if you're sitting down at your office five minutes that you can do and then he has so it's really you know for people that are always making excuses I feel that's like a great machine just because I don't know how much I've only used it a couple of times and you do yeah. feel especially like on your core and stuff and you're on your shoulders like you feel it because it's your pressure against the machine and it shows you on your phone how much pressure you're doing and if it's really low so like for people that are not very active maybe yeah. that's a way to start um I just feel that there's so much stuff out there that we shouldn't have an excuse. You know, What's like your things. 